Hello, and welcome to yet another exciting edition of Michael Plays. Today we're going to be revisiting Pegs, which upon insistence from uh, various people, that being one person on YouTube, I'm going to be finishing the game, so we can just skip all these levels which I've already beaten. This won't be a perfect run, so of course there will be no pressure on me. And I will proceed to beat the game with probably a better time than I would have on my speed run. Probably not, though. When you get right down to it, I'm fairly bad at video games. Push this over here. Up. Down, down, down. See, no problem so far. In the hole you go. Sorry it's so dark, the lighting is bad in my basement, because I'm using a tissue box as a stand. I think I should probably switch it, but I've already begun filming. Nice pegging. Down you go. Down you go. You have to use the pluses to make a circle. All the way up. Ah, almost got me can't push that block there, otherwise you have no way to bridge that gap, which you need to do to beat the game. Down here, now as you can see, there's another gap right there, so we're going to use these, uh, oh, geez, that's bad focus. These, uh, plus signs to, uh, There goes that hypothesis. I was doing so well, too. I'm going to be trying to finish the game. I think this is about halfway through. Make that the triangle, make this the square. That's the ticket. Up. Oh, jeez, I forgot to get the thing again. All the way down. Don't fall in the hole. Back down. I believe this is the level that the guy was referring to. And, whoops. This is a fairly difficult level. In fact, it took me probably the better half of fortnight to complete, but eventually I figured it out, and really once you figure stuff out, it all becomes horribly simple as to why you couldn't see it in the first place. Lots of clicking for this one, but not a lot to do. Oh, after you beat the game, the reason I'm able to so quickly pass through the levels isn't because I'm an elite hacker, although I am, it's because after you beat the game, you unlock the ability to quickly cycle through levels. Derp a derp a derp. So that was that. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's do this. Uh, push this forward. Push this up. Over, over. get rid of all of these squares, because really when you have the, uh, the option to drop things, unless you're going for speed, which we're not here, it's usually better to just drop them, because there's fewer chances for mishaps. Also, it's hard to go wrong when you can just drop everything. Here we go, nice pegging. Now this is a hard level. I will admit, I still have difficulty beating this level. Hopefully we won't, and I can just beat it in one 
one quick go. I believe this is right. 90% positive I'm doing the right thing. Yes, I am. Back down all the way up. Aww. Sugar. Well, frig. That's what happens when you do live television. A very good teacher of mine once said. Still says it, I believe. So that's part of the art of this game and why it's so difficult to do speedruns. Because one misplaced uh, click completely ruin your entire run. And you'll be doomed to a life of a uh, painfully slow uh, Oh, frig, there we go again. Actually, I think I can save this. But yeah, ideally we would have just pushed that in the hole. That's why I'm so hesitant to uh, hold down the mouse button. This is the last level. Now, we've gotten here fast and it's been a long and quite enjoyable road, but I think it's time to say our farewells to peg speed run unless I do decide to come back and do a uh, speed run or a perfect run this level isn't too bad and there we go we're gonna push this up here through the chute and bam the death star explodes congratulations you finished pegs you can now press the plus and minus keys to go to any of the levels. Hmm. Yeah, the quality is pretty bad, but that's okay. I'm filming this on a tissue box. That's where I'm resting my iPod, which is my recording device. So yeah, there you go. That's your pegs walkthrough. If you'd like me to be more in depth or have any other calculator game ideas for me to play, leave them in the comments. See you next time.